it's official. I think, like, I want it to be official. It's time for me to try something new. We went through the six month hair growth challenge a little while ago, but that was focused just on the fringe. Like you can still do whatever you want to the sides. As most of you probably know, I kept my sides short, but hey, this time though, it's time to mess with the sides. You know, it's time to change things up. But the truth is whenever I think about growing out the sides of my hair, I immediately think back to high school Joe, you know, the Joe that didn't really know anything about hair care and his crazy, uncontrollable, poofy mess on the side of his head. And I guess subconsciously, every time I think about growing out my sides, that's just, that's what I expect is gonna happen. This uncontrollable, poofy mess. I have thick hair, I always say, my, my, my hair looks best with shorter sides. And you know what, that might be the case, but the truth is, I gotta find out for myself. And more importantly, I'm way better at styling hair now after all these years of, of you know, talking about it uh, than I used to be back in high school. So the only real way for me to know what longer hair looks like on the sides of my head is for me to physically try it out. You guys have been asking for me to switch things up, for me to try growing my hair out. I've always pushed back, always. Since this channel has started, I have pushed back. Uh, but now I'm changing that. I'm gonna try it out. I don't know if I'm gonna like the results. I don't know even how long I'm gonna keep it going. You know, we'll, we'll kind of find out and see. All I know is that I need to try it for myself. If you'll notice, I've already started this process. Uh, I'm a couple weeks in. This length right now is the longest that it gets before I'm like, all right, it's time to go in for a trim. And I've created a system for myself to get the best results while I'm going through this experimentation. So if you want tips on how to grow out the size of your hair, if you wanna try something different, listen up, because this is how I'm gonna do it. All right, so the first thing and probably in my opinion, at least at this stage, the most important thing for you to not give up are haircuts. Just in a different way, even on the sides of your head, but I'll explain. The first thing that you're gonna notice when you start growing out your size is that your head is gonna start looking a little wider and wider. It's of course gonna vary on hair types. If you have finer hair types, this isn't gonna be as noticeable, but especially if you have more thicker hair types like I do, uh, it's really easy for your head to start looking a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit fat. So a great fix for this is to still taper out your sideburns towards the bottom and just go with a really low fade so you're not cutting the length at the sides where you're really trying to get it to grow. Eventually, even if I want hair long enough to slick back on the sides, that's still gonna look great with my sideburns being tapered and cut close to the skin. Just by keeping a slight taper, still keeping it short, like right towards the bottom, you can let this bit grow out. You'll eventually be able to kind of comb it backwards. That's vastly gonna help keep your face from looking too chubba wub wub. Second up, still having to do with the haircut, I find that keeping my hair a little shorter than you usual on top really helps to proportion the overall look. When you start letting the sides grow, you start having more hair all around than before. Wow, crazy insight there for you guys. So when I started growing out my sides, I made sure to take it back a little bit on top to make sure that not too much is going on. Again, this is gonna vary from person to person, but especially if you're a thicker haired dude, just keep in mind that you can go shorter on top and still look like you have way more hair than before. I also like that shorter hair gives me better volume uh, because you know, longer hair could be harder to keep that volume. And this just really helps to balance the fact that you're getting wider. You're getting wider this way, keep it proportioned by keeping it, you know, taller this way. And I'm not saying that I've gone way shorter than before, just like half an inch to an inch. Now that we've got the haircut out of the way, let's talk about styling. When it comes to hair products, I find that using some products that have some shine in it can really help control the overall poofiness and the overall craziness. Yes, once again, this is gonna depend on your hair type a little bit. But for me, that means using more cloud control hair oil than normal. Uh, and I've actually really enjoyed pre-styling with Fit Sample Pomade as well. This is something that I've actually been doing on and off for the past month or so, switching between Fit Sample, you know, doing a little bit of experimenting, but the shiny products pays off big time. I'm gonna go into the reasons why shinier products are great for hairstyles with longer sides in a future video, but to put it simply, shine really helps to decrease poof and add control. As I'm growing up my hair, I wanna have that more full look, but I wanna suck out the unnecessary airy volume and have it looking slick and controlled. Products with shine really help to do that. But guys, whether you're growing out your hair or not, Cloud Control is an excellent product to add to your collection, into your hairstyling routine. We carefully crafted this to make sure that it provides all day hair health and repair, along with adding more control to your overall hairstyle by making your hair softer. Softer hair is easier to manipulate and change in the direction that you actually want it to go. I'm already on my second bottle, uh, mainly because I use this stuff as hair masks all the time. Bottom line is, this stuff is the best stuff. Okay, check out the reviews for yourself because they're coming in hot. 100% natural ingredient list with over 12 essential oils and botanical extracts. You're not gonna find anything like that anywhere else, all right? Hence why we made it. So if you wanna check out Cloud Control, it is 
like a staple for me now, I've got that link down below. And finally, what I found super beneficial as my sides have been starting to get longer is to stop trying to create a side part and have everything kind of just naturally flow backwards. My hair still goes up and left because that's the way, like that's the natural way that it likes to go, but you're not gonna be finding any specific parts on either side. So during the blow drying process, instead of blow drying my hair from my right to my left like I used to, I blow dry the hair on my sides directly backwards to help blend the top of my hair in with the sides. And I do that on my right side and I do that on my left side. As for the middle, again, you can refer to my blow dry technique that I've been using. I'll have it right up here because that's what I still do for like the middle bit. But this really helps to create a seamless transition between the sides and the top. And it just looks a little bit more modern compared to like a, a slick side part. Also bonus tip, don't forget to apply products to the sides as they grow out. Old habits die hard and you gotta remember to keep that poof under control. You need to apply product to keep it from sticking outwards and just have it nice and smooth going back. So yeah, I'm in the process of growing out the sides of my hair. We're gonna see how long it lasts. I'm not promising anything. All I know is that I want it long enough for me to start being able to kind of finger comb it backwards. I think anyways, we're gonna see. Hope you guys found this helpful. Definitely check out Cloud Control. It's gonna be the best hair oil you've ever used. I'm pretty confident about it anyways, all right? Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out the Instagram, do it all, do it quick, quick. We don't have a lot of time. See you guys next time.